Okay, some quick unit objectives. Um, this unit's a very quick introduction to matrices. So today, this lesson, we're going to be looking at um, the order of a matrix or the dimension of a matrix and um, the elements within them. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to add and subtract to multiply in two different ways, um, by a scalar and by another matrix. Um, we're going to be looking at some special matrices and looking at something called the multiplicative inverse. There is no such thing as division for matrices, so we need to look at a different kind of uh, multiplicative inverse when we can't divide. Uh, regular or singular we'll look at next lesson um, and also solve simple matrix equations. But the first question is, I guess, what is a matrix? Um, if we simplify it down, it's just a rectangular array of numbers of any size. Um, and all the numbers within a matrix is called an element of the matrix. So this first one here has four elements, this one two elements, this one nine, and that one Matrices one are used um, for all sorts of different things. Um, they're mainly used for storing information um, and for working with large amounts of data um, by computers usually. Um, they're used for analyzing networks and for, for game theory. So if you're doing general maths and further maths, um, that's what you'll mainly be using it for. Um, you, we will be using it for solving simultaneous equations um, and for transforming functions in the Cartesian plane. Okay, so some quick matrix notation. It's important that you use a capital letter um, to name a matrix. It's it's not a number. It's something else. So it's like a set or you know an event in probability. It has to be a capital letter, um, and it's you it's it's written in square brackets um, with no lines or borders separating the rows and columns. So something that's really important is to make sure that there's enough space in between different entries um, in the matrix so that you, you can tell that they're two different entries. So a quick example, um, if we look at the gender of students in four different year 11 classes, um, we've got a table here, I've just made it up. Um, if we want to display this as a matrix, we get this. Okay, we've got some square brackets and then we've just got all of those numbers from the table. Okay, so the order or the dimension or the size of a matrix is just given by the number of rows and the number of columns. Um, so if we've got M rows and N columns, um, we have an M by N matrix. That doesn't mean that we multiply those two numbers. Um, that's just how we say um, what the size is. Um, so if we want to work out the order of these matrices, we just need to look at the number of rows and the number of columns. So for this first one, two rows, two columns, and we have a two by two matrix. This is a special kind of matrix um, because we call it square. This, uh, the number of rows is equal to the number of columns, um, and that means we've got a square matrix. So pause the video now and give those other three a go, and then I'll go through them. For the second one, we've got one row, three columns, one by three matrix. If we've only got one row, this is called a row matrix. Um, and very similarly, in the third one, we've got two rows and one column. There's only one column. Um, so it's a two by one matrix, or specifically, it is a column matrix. This last one here, um, three rows, two columns, we've got a three by two matrix. And this one doesn't have any kind of special name. It's not square, it's not a row, it's not a column. So within a matrix, we've got lots of elements or lots of entries, um, and it's identified or denoted by its position. Okay, so every element is, um, it has a little subscript IJ, uh, where I is the row and J is the column. Okay, for example, this one here, we can see the one in the um, top left is row one, column one, so it's A11. So if we look at this example, we've got um, a two by two matrix with four elements. Um, and if we want to describe uh, the, the elements within it, if we want element A12, it's not 12, it's one, two, you can or you know, don't have to put in that comma. We're looking at the first row, second column, um, which is five, element five. This one here is a two, one, so the second row, first column, and we've got a four. Okay, so let's talk about a few different kinds of special matrices. Um, we've talked about these three column matrices, row matrices, and square matrices. Um, we've also got Diagonal matrices, which are special kinds of square matrices. Um, so a diagonal matrix is a square matrix where, if you look at this example here, every element excluding the leading diagonal is equal to zero. Um, so we can have anything on the leading diagonal, and the leading diagonal is just from the top left all the way down to the bottom right. 
but everything else has to be zero. And then we have another special kind of diagonal matrix called the identity matrix, which um, will be really important next lesson. Um, it's a square matrix. It's a, a diagonal matrix where that leading diagonal is all one. The zero matrix is um, a matrix of any shape. Um, all elements have to be zero. So it doesn't have to be square. It can be any shape at all, but all have to be zero. Um, equal matrices are, I guess they're not a special kind of matrix, but what we mean when we say that matrices are equal is that they have to be the same size, the order or the dimension has to be the same, and every corresponding element um, has to be equal as well. Okay, so let's have a look at an example um, of the way that matrices are used all the time. Um, so we've got two tables here. Um, we've got uh, these two different shops that sell across four days um, different amounts of TVs, laptops and phones. And what we want to do is summarize the information into one table. Um, so what we're actually doing here is we're, we're just adding. It's just adding what shop A has sold um, to what shop B has sold. And it is actually, that's the maths behind what computers do when they add large amounts of data. So what we will first want to do is grab all of shop A's data and stick into a matrix and we get that. Um, and the same thing with shop B. And when we add them up, we get this matrix over here. And that's all we have to do when we want to add matrices, just add corresponding elements. So for matrix addition and subtraction, it's really, really straightforward. Um, it's, it's important that they have the same order so, we can, so that there are corresponding elements and we can add them. Um, and then we just go ahead and we add them. Okay, so let's have a quick look at a, an example um, for addition and subtraction of matrices. Um, so before we actually add or subtract, we just need to quickly check that they're of the same order. And we can see that they are. They both have two rows. Um, and three columns, making them two by three matrices, which means we can add them. Awesome. Okay, so to add them. So what we need to do here is to add corresponding elements. We're going to get a matrix of the same order. So we have five plus eight gives us our first one of 13. Seven and negative two is five. Four and zero, four. Negative six, negative three is nine. Negative nine, sorry. Negative two plus eight, uh, positive six. And three plus negative one is two and we've added the matrices. To use the CAS to work with matrices, we first need to learn how to define them. Um, so if you go to keyboard um, and down to math two, you'll see some things that look like matrices. Um, what we want here is a two by three matrix. So I'll grab this one, which is a two by two. And what I want to do is add another column. And this one here adds columns. This one here adds rows. So if we push this one, it'll give us a two by three. Just play around with it until you get what you want. Um, but we first want to define our matrices. So I'm going to define A um, and pop in those elements um, for A. Um, and what I need to do is I need to store it. So I need this arrow here and I'm just going to store that as capital A. I'm going to do the same thing for B. Okay, so matrix, add another column, pop in my elements. Now if I check what A is and what B is, the CAS knows what they are. Um, so we'll go through and have a look at um, adding. It's just A plus B. Really simple and we can check that we've done it right. To subtract, we do the same thing. Uh, subtract corresponding elements. So 5 take away 8 is negative 3. 7 take away negative 2 is 9. 4 take away 0, 4. Negative 6 take away negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 2 take away 8 is negative 10, and 3 take away negative 1 is 4. And we'll just quickly check on the CAS that A minus B is also correct. Alright, let's have a look at another example. Um, this one is a simple matrix equation, um, and what we want to do is solve for these values of X and Y that we can see. So the left-hand side of the equation, um, what we want to do with that is first to just simplify it by adding it. Okay, we have two 2 by 2 matrices, um, so we should be able to add those. We add 2x and 3y, and we get 2x plus 3y. That's our first element there. Um, 4 plus 7 gives us 11. 3 plus 2 is 5, and x plus negative y is x take y. And we know that that is equal to this on the right-hand side. Already this is looking good to me, um, because if two matrices are going to be equal, then each of their elements has to be equal. Um, and I can already see that 11 and 11 are equal, um, and 
these ones down here are also equal. Um, so that's looking good. But what we also have is these other ones with x and y. So I'm just going to write out um, a couple of equations. Um, we can see that 2x plus 3y up here is going to be equal to 5. Um, and x minus y is going to be equal to 5 also. Um, try this either by hand or on the CAS and you'll get that x is equal to 4 um, and y is equal to negative 1. If we do a quick check um, just to make sure that it's correct, 2x plus 3y is equal to 8 minus 3 which is 5, so that's good, works for our first one. Um, x minus y is 4 minus negative 1 which also gives us 5, so our second equation works. Scalar multiplication is um, also really straightforward. If we want to multiply a matrix by a scalar that is just a, a number, um, we just multiply each element of the matrix by that particular scalar. So if we've got this matrix A, which is a 2 by 3 matrix, um, and we want to multiply it by 3, then we're still going to have a 2 by 3 matrix, um, but every element, so 2 is going to be multiplied by 3 to get 6, 4 is going to be multiplied by 3 to get 12, etc. So another example of the way computers use um, use matrices, what we're doing here is matrix multiplication. And you don't need to write this one down. Um, it's just an intro into how matrix multiplication works. And we'll look at an example with just matrices um, in a little bit. So what we've got here is, again, two tables. Um, but this, this time we've got a shop that is selling different kinds of pies. Um, we've got the table on the left um, of all the prices and the table on the right, the numbers of um, pies sold. What we want to do in this question is calculate the revenue for each day. Um, so all we're doing here is multiplying prices by numbers. We know how to do that or sort of with simple arithmetic. Um, so for Monday, what we want to do is multiply prices by numbers of pies sold on Monday, and we get $3 for a beef pie multiplied by 13 beef pies sold, added onto our chicken, added onto our vegetable, and we get $83 made on Monday. Same thing for all the other days. Um, Tuesday we want to do this multiplication, prices multiplied by Tuesday's numbers, same on Wednesday, same on Thursday. And then we want to summarize that into a table. And this is the amount of money we've made across the four days. What we're actually doing here is matrix multiplication, and it looks like this. We've got a, a matrix with all the prices, a matrix with all the things sold, um, and when we multiply it together, we end up with the revenue made across the four days. What we're doing with matrix multiplication is multiplying rows by columns. The rows in the first matrix by columns in the second matrix. So what we, what we have here is that we, we have potentially matrices of different dimensions, different orders, um, and we can multiply them, but we do need to kind of watch out for one thing. So what we have with our, our order of our matrices is a 1 by 3 matrix to start with, uh, 1 row, 3 columns, um, multiplied by a 3 by 4 matrix, 3 rows, 4 columns. And we want to check these numbers in the middle. We want to check that the number of columns in the first matrix is equal to the number of rows in the second. Those numbers have to be the same, otherwise we can't multiply. For example, if we had prices for beef, chicken, and vegetable pies, but then we actually sold beef, chicken, vegetable, and, I don't know, some other kind of pie, we wouldn't be able to do the multiplication. Okay, So a number of columns has to be equal to the number of rows. What we end up with when we've multiplied is a 1 by 4 matrix. And the way we get that is those numbers on the outside. So here are our steps for um, matrix multiplication. We need to check that matrix multiplica multiplication is possible. I always like to write out the order and make sure those two middle numbers are the same. Uh, we multiply the rows and the columns, um, and then we just simplify. Okay, so we want to multiply these two matrices. And the first thing we need to do is just to, to check that we can do it. Um, so let's have a look at the order of the first matrix. We've got two rows um, and three columns, so this is two by three. Um, and this one over here is a square matrix. We can see that there are three rows and three columns. And what we need to check is that um, these middle numbers are the same. Yeah, the number of columns in the first one is the same as the number of rows. Um, and they are the same, which means we can multiply them. And furthermore, when we do multiply them, we're going to get a matrix that is a 2 by 3, those outside numbers, 2 by 3 matrix. 
So what we need to do is we need to multiply each row by each column. Okay, so we'll start with the first row by the first column. Um, and what we get is 2 times 1 plus, so the first one's in rows and columns, plus 3 times 2 plus negative 1 times negative 3. That's what we're going to get in our first row, first column. Okay. Let's do our first row, second column. I'll just do that in a different color. So first row, second column, that's going to go over here. Can I just shift this across? Um, so first row, second column is going to be 2 times 0 plus 3 times 4 plus negative 1 times 3. Our first row, these colors are getting really muddled, first row times third column is going to be first row, third column down here. I might actually put brackets in at this point. Um, so we'll have 2 times 10 plus 3 times 7 plus negative 1 times negative 1. done our first row by all the columns so I'm just going to rub these out so we can start again with the second row. Um, so for the second row this is our second row first column we need the second row by the first column and we get 6 times 1 plus 0 times 2 plus 5 times negative 3 This is our second row, second column, so we need second row by our second column, and we get 6 times 0 plus 0 times 4 plus 5 times 3. Last one. Last element here is second row, third column, so second row by the third column, we get 6 times 10 plus 0 times 7, plus 5 times negative 1. Just barely fitting it there. Um, once you get used to doing this, you don't need to write out all of these steps. Um, you can skip a few. Um, so we'll just clean this up a little bit, I guess. Um, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 6, plus 3. And we get 11. This one here, I don't need to talk through all of this, do I? Simplify, we get these numbers. And that's what we get when we multiply this matrix by that one. Let's quickly verify this on the CAS. Um, so when we do operations with matrices, we don't necessarily need to define matrices all the time. We can just type them in. Um, so we want to type in our matrices here are 2 by 3, and we want to multiply that by that 3 by 3. Now, we know how to add columns and add rows, um, but if you push this square matrix lots of times, it'll just keep adding um, rows and columns to keep it square. Oops, that should be 7, um, negative 3, 3, negative 1. And that gives us our matrix multiplication.